He is Clay Matthews Jr., the Packers linebacker, joining us uh, from the Pro Bowl. I, I Everybody seems to play nice when you get to these All-Star games and Pro Bowls, but are, are there any grudges that you have with players out there? I don't have any grudges with anybody. You know, it's, it's funny because you see some of these guys who, you know, you see their persona on TV, and then, you know, when you meet them in person, you know they're they're nice guys. You know, like yesterday I was I was we were at a Play 60 event and I'm with uh, you know uh, Bobby Wagner and Richard Sherman of the Seahawks and I'm like oh no we got a big rivalry here and they're, they're, you know it couldn't be nicer. I'm like all right, all right. maybe I'm the jerk for even thinking there was a you know there was some type of uh, rivalry there, match or grudge or something. But do you have a grudge with anybody? No. No, I you know I honestly took a took a look around and I'm like oh, I, I think uh, everybody here uh, you know it's there's a mutual respect amongst uh, one another and I think the the young guys are trying to find their place but no I think uh, I don't have a grudge with anyone no no I'm good who's the scariest guy who's there if if a fight breaks out you want him on your side hmm. <sighs> shoot I I don't know I mean. All the offensive linemen are wild cards. You know, you'll, you never know when they're going to explode. You know, they're all 300-plus pounds, a lot of facial hair. You know, you don't know what's going to happen. So, I, I, you know, the, the old linemen you probably want to be mindful of. But um, it's good to have them on, on your side, though, that's for sure. Is there a tough quarterback? Like when you look at him and you say, that, like that dude could play – he could play defense. Who's who's the quarterback? I I think th- I think there's uh, there's an agreement in the NFL that you know quarterbacks are quarterbacks, you know, and they agree not to be tough. And I don't mean that you know they're not tough guys; they can't take hits. But as far as you know, how they go about being a quarterback, you know, how they go about celebrating, how they go about you know with their business, so. uh I don't know. There's, there's, I mean, there's some tough. I guess there's some tough guys. You always see Roethlisberger taking hits, playing through, uh, you know, injuries. You know, Philip Rivers. You got to have respect for because he's always, you know, battling and, uh, you know, he, he's he's a feisty one. So I mean, there's some guys who uh, I guess you can give him the tough moniker. He's Clay Matthews, the Packers linebacker, joining us from the Pro Bowl, and once again he joins us, and we talk about the sad ending to a season. It's becoming a habit here, right. Clay. Oh, yeah, I know, and unfortunately so. But thanks for, uh, you know, always bringing it back up. I know it's your job, you know, it's to just, uh, like I always say, just, just rip the Band-Aid off and just find out what's going on. So, yeah, unfortunately, it, uh, you know, it has become, uh, you know, a, a little too much of a reoccurrence. Well, we were talking about quarterbacks here, and, and yesterday we spent a lot of time on this with Cam Newton and how people perceive him, and he celebrates, he's the new age quarterback, and... Your thoughts on Cam Newton. When you see him celebrate as a defender, got a problem with it? It's, you know, uh, quarterbacks are allowed to celebrate. You know, I've seen our quarterback does, you know, he celebrates when he throws a touchdown, when he gets a big first down, when he moves it with his feet. You know, but I think at times, especially with the success in which they've had this year, you know, when you spend seven seconds, dabbing on your opponents, I could see how a defender might be, uh, you know, a little annoyed with every first down celebrating. But, I mean, that's, uh, you know, the, the, the great thing about it is as long as you're backing it up and, uh, you know, you can celebrate all you want. And, you know, guys can continue to get mad, but, uh, you know, that's uh, they've had success this year, only losing one game. So, um, you know, he's kind of earned that right, um, you know, and, and it's at the expense of the defense, usually. Well, I talked to Charles Barkley about it, and he said, look, I love it, but if I'm playing against him, that kind of guy, I'm going to I'm gonna make sure he gets hit. I'm, I'm going to make sure somebody puts a hit on him. <laughs> well, I mean, he, you know, there, there's plenty of opportunities to do that with him, uh, you know, keeping the ball, but, I mean, he's as big as linebackers <laughs> out there, so when, when people put hits on him, they got to they gotta keep putting it on him, and it seems like, uh, you know, he's been winning that battle as well. He's bigger than you, isn't he? Uh, what's, what, what's his what's his stat wise? Uh, what, what kind of numbers you got there, Paulie? Six five two fifty five listed. 
Wow, yeah. No, I'm uh, I'm six three, two fifty five. So yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got a few inches on me. Were you disappointed that Aaron Rodgers was not engaged? Like, were you ready to have a wedding? <laughs> well, I just hope I'm invited. You know, I, it's probably going to be super A listers, and I hope I'm invited. Would you I'm be a, a best? Would you be in the in the party, the wedding party? If if Rodgers got engaged, are you one of the groomsmen? I, if the wedding party entails maybe being the little guy who brings up the rings, then maybe <laughs> I could see myself doing that or throwing flowers down the aisle. Yeah, I'd like to be involved. You know, that way it, in history, in in his uh, you know wedding, he'd be like, "Wow, Clay was he was huge on on my day." Do you and bring that up? Was, Did you bring it up with Rogers about being engaged when the story came out? No. Nobody no, in the locker room does anything like like that. You guys don't have fun with him. Well, I mean, we have we have fun with him, but of course, you know, when 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 the media comes out first, you know, saying Rogers is engaged, I'm probably going to think 99 percent of the time <laughs> he's not engaged. Just a general rule of thumb. Oh, okay, so 99 percent of the time, you think the media is going to screw it up. Well, if I haven't heard it from, you know, uh, my friend, my quarterback, <laughs> if I, you know, you, you get a little inclining, you know, you're privy to some conversations. Like, oh, you know, okay. I wouldn't think I'd hear it on the TV first. You know, a guy of your caliber, yeah. you know, you probably got your sources, so you might hear it first, but. Well, I would hear it know, from her, or, Olivia. And I, she would tell me. I wouldn't hear it yeah. from Rogers. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're, that's straight from really the, the the source you know so well she's an actress and i'm an actor so that's why we have that connection that there. is that is your inner circle right there i'm you know what i'm happy for you like why do you even have this show anymore <laughs> you're so much better than this you just I, I, you sit around and wait for guys to call in so that way we can validate yourself yes when in all reality you're just you know like you're on the, the late night junket yep. with yep. jimmy fallon yep. you're I mean, what's what's the next movie coming out? Can you tell us what's you know? I got another. Gonna, I got another gonna, one. Got another what, Sandler movie. But 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 Clay, if I don't do this job, there's four guys on the other side here. They don't have jobs, so I do this for them. Wow. It's sort of like the yeah, offensive lineman protecting Rogers. Yeah, and because without them, there wouldn't be a Roger. No, there would not. Nobody would know Aaron Rodgers without that offensive line. Yeah, well, you know. I, you're bigger than me because yeah. you know they can just they can just put another guy in at, at my position. But with yep. yours, you're feeding you're feeding that guy who you just had to go on Google and search up Cam Newton height and weight. <laughs> uh, did you see where Coach kind of fat shamed Eddie Lacy? <laughs> I didn't see it. I don't. I mean, you know, it just it seemed as if he suggested that uh, you know he can. Uh, maybe withstand to lose a couple pounds and uh, be able to take on the rigors of the season. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was fat shaming. I mean, we're not, we can't do, we can't do that in society anymore. Everybody's beautiful, right, Dan? No, I thought Eddie Lacy looked uh, out of shape at the end of the year. That's that, that's horrible of you. How can you fat shame someone like that? <laughs> I thought you were different. <laughs> I now I'm, now I'm turning this on you. I I'm not I'm not fat shaming him as much as I want to motivate him to be even greater. And I think that he can be greater. He's got to, my, my issue with Eddie Lacy is this in all seriousness, he's got to decide if he wants to be great because he can be. I just, uh, I don't know if he's, uh, if he wants to be great and, and everything that goes okay. along with that. Is that I fair? Respect, yeah, I respect that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I think, I think, you know, you know, Eddie has shown flashes of, of you know, you're right, being a great running back and potentially being one of the best. The way he's able to bounce off defenders, um, you know, break tackles is, is unbelievable. But, you know, if you want to be a starting back in this league, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough position. and It's only for a few years. So, you know, with those several years that you're in the league, you know, you might as well, you know, do everything you can to, uh, you know, make yourself the best and, uh, make sure you're available for 16 games and, and including the playoffs and especially show up when we need you. You know, you look at our team, uh, you know, which we have arguably one of the best quarterbacks, uh, you know, a great running back. Uh, you know, our defense has continued to play well in these, these last two these last two years, especially into the playoffs. And uh, we got a real shot at, uh, yeah. you know, getting, getting, getting to another Super Bowl. So, you're, I mean, you're right about that. So, uh, but that's on everybody, though. You know, that's on everybody, you know, uh, 
you know, taking it upon them themselves to uh, you know be the best player they can. But Eddie's Eddie's a unique talent, and I mean he'll be fine. So well, I'm sure you know with what Mike had to say in camp next year, I'm I'm probably not looking forward to him running downhill. <laughs> Clay Matthews starting uh, starring in a series of new videos, typical game day party guest, and uh, this is with uh, DiGiorno. Uh, are do people get to go watch the game with you, or wh- what do they get with these videos with uh, DiGiorno? You get the awesome opportunity to watch them online. Wow. And, yeah, I know, I know. Well, listen, you know, it, it's all about making the right call here. You know, I made the right call by waking up early in Hawaii <laughs> and calling into you and, you know, the New York studio. I knew this would be a great call, and that's why I, I made the right call. That's, that's, that's what it's all about. So we're, you know, we're kind of, uh, we, we made some fun, um, you know, little videos online with some of these Vine stars, letting everybody know how to make the the right call with the journal pizza, especially on, you know, Super Bowl Sunday. So, yeah, that, that's really what it's all about, is, uh, you know, getting a good laugh, watching these videos, and learning how to make the right call. You can see more of Clay Matthews. Well, not like that, but you can see more of Clay. Visit DiGiorno <laughs> Twitter page at DiGiorno Pizza or on YouTube.com slash DiGiorno Pizzas. All right, go back to bed. Yeah, I appreciate it, Dan. Thank you, Clay. Hi, right, buddy. Bye. Take care.